yeah, I feel invested in the project of kind of firing up the Quaker community um, and, and really like engaging in difficult conversations about um, our relationship to pacifism and really challenging ourselves to find that like ferocity of early friends um, that was grounded in what I understand to be a liberatory interpretation of the Bible. My name is Olivia Chalkley. I live in West Philadelphia, and I'm the program facilitator for the Young Friends of Philadelphia Yearly Meeting. So liberation theology is um, a Christian tradition started by um, like radical Catholics in Latin America that um, looks at poverty and the root causes of poverty as um, stemming from greed, which is a sin. And I think liberation theology is aim like there's an, an understanding that we do have the opportunity to create something that resembles like the kingdom of heaven here on earth and striving to create that by um, acting as like true disciples of Christ, which is um, acting not out of greed, but of out of um, solidarity with like every other human based on an understanding of like the inherent sanctity of every human life. I think it's like, it's fun to look through the Bible and, and search for um, like passages that apply to um, either situations right now um, or that can be used to argue for a liberatory interpretation of Christianity. Um, and I think it's the project of kind of rescuing Christianity from uh, the ways it's been used to pillage and exploit um, is seem, seems like really important work to me because the original teachings of Jesus are all about wealth redistribution and um, fighting greed um, and uplifting the poor. I think our current situation, um, what we're facing with both the health crisis and the economic crisis of COVID-19, um, I think a lot of things are kind of coming to the surface um, that have always been there, issues with our healthcare system, issues with our um, economy that's entirely reliant on forces of the market and just completely collapses when people can't go to work. Um, and the people who end up suffering from that the most are the people who are already in precarious positions. Um, so I think this offers us an opportunity to see how messed up things are, but also how simple it could be to give everybody everything they need because we are the wealthiest country on earth and um, and there is enough to go around. There, there are all these parts of the Bible where people are struggling and have experiences of spiritual surrender where um, they're like okay, I give up, like, I, the Lord will provide for me, <laughs> basically. Um, and that's not going to work for us necessarily in this time, but I think those are important reminders of just, like, how there actually is enough for everybody. There is no scarcity, and it's all just about how it's distributed. Um, and I think it's our duty as Quakers to really take to task the forces that hoard 
um, resources in a way that is like in alignment and in integrity with our belief that is like so fundamental to Quakerism that there is something inherently sacred with every human life. Um, like if we actually believe that, then we'll be living as simply as possible so we can give our money to people who need it. Like that is at the core of Quakerism and then that's at the core of Christianity too. Thanks for watching this Quaker Speak video. We release a new video every Thursday. You can watch all our videos in this playlist here. You can subscribe to our channel by clicking this button here. You can support us through our Patreon here. Thanks again for watching and have a happy Thursday.